Shaft 37. It's a monster. What's going on guys? It's OT, the Lord of Knives, and today we got another knife review. I'm super happy to share with you guys the Shrade Frontier SCHF 37. It's an absolute tank of a knife. Uh, I don't think you can get a survival knife cheaper than this one. And let me clarify quickly the difference between a survival knife and a companion bushcrafting knife. Survival knives are usually over six to seven inches. They're usually around a pound or more and they always have a full tang. A survival knife also has to be able to process wood better than a companion knife because you're surviving only with this one knife. That's why it's called a survival knife. It cannot fail you. And Schrade SCHF 37 is about as cheap as it gets for survival knives. This guy's is literally a sharpened pry bar, um, but we're gonna see what it can do in a bit. So guys, hopefully this video can help you decide if this Schrade Frontier SCHF 37 is worth picking up or worth buying over one of the more well-known survival blades like the SE6 or the RAT7. Hopefully this knife review can help you guys make a decision. So it has an overall length of 12 and a quarter inches with a blade length of seven inches and a cutting edge length of six and a quarter inches of 1095 high carbon steel. The blade thickness is a quarter inch and the handle thickness is a 0.8 inch. It is a drop point style blade with TPE handle scales which is an abbreviation for low grade rubber. It has an overall weight of 15 and a half ounces and that's not including the sheath. So when you get this knife in your hand, it definitely feels like a substantial piece of metal. It is quite top heavy, which is good because that's what you want from a knife that's gonna be chopping a whole bunch of wood. The one downside on this knife is the aggressive jimping right where the inside of your fingers go. I don't know whose idea it was to put that there, but it is really not comfortable. You almost need gloves to use this knife for three hours at a time. So because this knife is so heavy, it will chop some decent chunks of wood with every swing. Guys, this wood's a solid three and a half inches. Tip test. Guys, I've never treated a tip like this. Alright guys, I can do this all day, but and this tip can also do that all day. Look at that tip. Somebody look at that tip. Not a bend in sight.
Edge held up fine. And I was doing some of this. It's that same wood yesterday as well. Not the right angle that I wanted, but let's try that one more time. <sighs> Is this the sword of Excalibur? You really chucked it. Oh! <laughs> Did I cut you? No. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little dangerous on that one. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Like the handle. It's tough, man. Like the handle is uh... You're done? You don't want to give her one last go? Wow. <laughs> Guys, this is, why, this is why you don't throw knives 20 times. If I threw it, with the, what the blade holding the blade, I would have banged it. But the blade's so big. Yeah, the blade's so big. Cause I kept on hitting it on this side. Cause I was trying to make it spin once, but it span like one and a half times. Well, when you put a knife through the gauntlet, yours, yours. Sometimes it gets banged out. So this is the ferro rod that comes with the knife. It also comes with a couple other little goodies. So this knife comes with a nylon sheath with a little pocket pouch on the front. It also comes with a button strap and a plastic insert that keeps the knife from cutting up the sheath. And this odd belt loop system, it works perfectly fine. It also has two lanyard holes at the bottom there. <laughs> It also comes with this little knife sharpener and this little piece of metal that has a 90 degree spine that you use to strike the ferro rod with. Alright guys, final thoughts on the Schrade SCHF37. So this knife is a tank, it is a sharpened pry bar, but the handle on this is mighty sketchy. This jimping part right where your fingers are supposed to go is just not a smart placement of jimping and the jimping is very aggressive so i would give the ergonomics on this knife like a five out of ten which is not ideal for a survival knife a survival knife should be expected to be used for long periods of time and i don't know if i could use this handle for like three hours straight but nonetheless you get what you pay for with like a $70 knife. I don't know of any other survival knife that's even close to the price of this knife. But guys, I think that's going to do it for today. I think I'm going to go for a swim, maybe even catch a fish. But remember folks, the knife is sharpest before the dawn. I'm OT, the Lord of Knives. Stay sharp. <laughs> hey, yo, you got you to gotta, you gotta do it again. Yo. I, can't, I can't do it again. <laughs> it's it's too cold bro.